team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the New Mexico Lobos and the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Gauchos looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First of all, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Second, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. And lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Controlling the ball. The center gets the ball. Number 22, pump fakes. He fakes the shot. Jump hook from the low post. Can't get the shot to go. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He looks at the hoop for two and off the mark. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The point guard gets the pass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Looking for a screen on top and got it. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The shooting guard with the ball. He gets that one to fall. They go into the low block. The center takes the feed. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Too many dribbles and a steal. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. a good block out and that's essential in the post a lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position slam jam bam up and away the elevator man they love it number 10 to the line shooting one makes it Feed the low block. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Down inside, number 14 takes the pass. He tries a jump hook, and he missed. Looks at a three. Questionable shot selection there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside. Tickles a twine.
He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 32 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Number 10 is pretty fired up and excited. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Got the shot if he wants it. He looks for the bomb. He drains the bucket. Attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Big Vital and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Tightly guarded. Looking for contact. Buried it. I'll tell you, I can't understand defensively how guys don't see the ball in man. That was just simply a case of not seeing ball man. He lets it fly. Can't get it to go. And working around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. But he missed the shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job. Of Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Too strong. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Gave it up. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Puts up the tray. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. up for two and in and out great and a shot rejected high post screen gonna use it it's good they're gonna move it around the perimeter takes the pass in the paint that spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries for two. In and out. He grabs the board. Up and inside. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
He takes a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The Gauchos have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Good fake. Fake. For the bucket. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Look at that spacing. He's open if he wants the shot. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. On the top of the key. He hits it. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Nice fake. They strip him in the basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two, perfectly executed. Down in the low post, defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Fakes it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating to the spot. move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries for two. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrew. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Thanks, Aaron. He throws it right away. Great steal. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Working it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Number 33 makes a great move to draw the foul. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. The Lobos will step to the line for the first time. He hits it. Misses the second. Good rebound position. Then I've got to get out and pull the lanes, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Frustration right there. Pushes it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. The fake. Turns it over. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down. He's his crime. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He takes the shot off the baseline. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Gave it up. Number 33 is whistled for the foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. For two, in and out. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Up and inside! From right in the circle, it sticks. Adam... Momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. They still don't score. With the fake. Tries for two. UC Santa Barbara have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court.
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses from downtown. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowed. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vital, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Opportunity. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court. But what they need are some easy lanes or a couple of nice putbacks. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. And off the mark. Goes up for two. In and out. the rim and no good at the end of the first half the gauchos lead by six best play of that half let's take another look New Mexico has had a tough time getting the ball to drop in the first half partner it looks as though the rim shrunk I'm telling you, man, they're having a tough time. They can't buy a basket. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. On the outside, Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gave it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Great defense. The ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. On the 
Dribble gives it up. Dumps it in. The power forward receives the pass. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. forward receives the ball tries for two and he missed They're working around the perimeter here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer for the bucket he drains the shot Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 12 is pounded on his way up. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Gets them both. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. If you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind. Rejects it. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The power forward handles the feed. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Number 12 is charged with the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post flasher is open. He shoots. He makes the shot. Number 32 picks up the foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Gets it back out. The point guard handles the pass. Now the high screen. Rims out. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping them out of sync. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. He goes for the trifecta. UC Santa Barbara are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. He shoots from long range. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. And 
at him. Momentary look from three-point land. Here's a double team. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. From right of the circle, number ten buries the three-pointer. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He throws it up from downtown. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Takes it off him. Number 14 with the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Oh, he drained it. Got the nylon NBN. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. For the bucket, doesn't go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning it. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He throws it up from downtown. Makes it. We get another look at it in the lane. Work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Steal. They run it up into transition. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> he strokes it. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when they make that turn. The offense gained it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice shot. Miss Q on that double team. Things better come together quickly, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Going to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Too strong. Nice shot, Bay. High post screen. So effective, that screen. There's the trap. It's stolen. 
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He dials long distance, scorches the net. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. From three-point range. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the ball. Got a man in high post. Taken away. Jumps into the defender. Got to make that baby at that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass. An easy deuce. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Erin. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For two, up and in. That's eight on answer. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Perfectly executed. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. the turn of the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Stolen ball. He gets the foul off the pro hop. He was going full steam ahead on that move. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Hits that one. He tries a jump hook. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. High post screen. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And working around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, right, th right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, beating the post. He worked the glass and got the putback. away the pass. He shoots from long range. 
Rims out. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Number 33 is called for the foul. Well, that's basic. High post flashes. Steals the pass. There's a high screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Picks it out of the air. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. For the deuce. Rims out. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He takes the shot. UC Santa Barbara is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Atta just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Nice high post screen. The Gauchos have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. For the bucket, up for the lay-in. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes for three. He shows the sweet touch. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Off the rim and no good. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call though by the official. That spin move's not gonna work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. UC Santa Barbara have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They work the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. He gets that one to fall. He shoots from outside, rims out. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Look at that great defense right there. Not allowing him to make the turn. He throws it deep.
kicks it out. He shoots from the top of the circle. What a big three! start again. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Yeah, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Ouch. That's what I call a hard screen. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 10 is whistled for the foul. Fifth team foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. No rebounding that. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He puts up the tray. He drains it. They're working hard on defense to get through those screens. Now they work it around the perimeter. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. Gave it up. Work it around the arc. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. They have the foul to put them on the line. I hope they miss. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. He hits the second. Got to get one on this possession, baby. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment? That... I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. And he can't hit the shot. Dick, this one's over, one team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, and they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Gauchos open the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.